Hey guys, what's going on? It's MX Reloaded, and um, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've been really busy with uh, doing stuff and moving around, but uh, I finally got the time out to make a video. Um, and here we're using the AUG A3, um, which is probably, I, I use two setups really for assault when I'm actually trying hard, and my guns are the AEK and the AUG. And a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people like the AUG, but it, I just feel that it's really underappreciated in terms of, like, among all the weapons in the game. Uh, it's a gun that fires at 700 rounds per minute. It has the same drop-off and damage as any other assault rifle. Um, and it has a uh, left recoil of 0 0.3, vertical recoil of 0 0.2, and a recoil to the right of 0 0.4. So not really that much recoil it's pretty manageable um really the only downside to this thing is its low rate of fire this thing doesn't really shoot that well although it is a bullpup its hip fire is not that good um but really i mean if you burst fire this gun it is a beast i mean you can spray it and it still has pretty good results but if you burst fire this gun it will kill pretty much anything at range it just destroys all right and kind of what I'm gonna be talking about today is kind of just a little heads up to all the people that love their precious m16s um, I in previous videos said that you know I'm kind of mixed feelings about the m16 now I am extremely against it this gun just <laughs> I've run into it so many times I'm so tired of it I mean, you'll go and you get killed by someone that has 39 service stars with the M16. It's just like, really? You're going to only be good with one gun that's going to get nerfed. Um, as a heads up to all of you guys, that gun is getting nerfed. Um, so have fun, <laughs> I guess, after that. Um, but I have a little suggestion for you guys that, of a gun you might want to start practicing with. It's pretty similar to the M16. It's the M416, and you all know it. Um, it's really good. I believe it has, yeah, uh, it has almost the exact same recoil as the M16. The M16 has slightly less recoil. Um, same vertical recoil, however. The M416 just has a little bit more side to side. Um, same damage drop off and all of that. Um, and it, the M416 does fire at 750 rounds per minute. Um, however, if what I've heard has been correct, um, then this gun is getting a buff. This gun is going to be a lot better than it has been. Um, the only reason I really suggest this to all you M16 lovers is because it's really similar. I see a lot of people that have a high amount of service stars in M416 and M16. And this gun is probably going to be the new main of a lot of people using the assault class. It's really good with really good reasons um there's really I, I like the gun i like the gun a lot personally but i feel like it's a little bit less reliable than the m16 it tends not to get those amazing shots that the m16 does um it tends not to get the, as many headshots or as much accuracy you know it's side to side recoil is definitely noticeable in comparison to the m16 uh yeah that's just kind of one of my things you're going to want to start practicing with another gun because you're not going to be able to use your precious M16 for very much longer. Um, this is why I'm actually starting to main, like, use, like, guns as a standard um, instead of, you know, I usually use a bunch of different guns. I use a lot of PDWs. I have, I think the gun that I have most kills with is the AEK with 500 kills. Um, I use a lot of different guns. I have a lot of service stars with a lot of guns, um, especially new ones, and that's just kind of how I do things. I tend not to, you know, stick around with one gun all game. Uh, I've recently been trying out the Ass Val, which is really, I think it's an awesome flanking gun. If you're going to use a gun for flanking, the Ass Val or the P90 Silenced are really good. Um, it's just really flexible. You can use it with support kits and stuff like that. Um, not to mention its accuracy is really good. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of the 
good thing. You want to mix up your guns. I've found that using guns like that are a lot harder to use, not as good, makes your usage of guns like the AUG, like the AEK, um, a lot better. Actually, during this game, I am really rusty. Like, around this time, I was super rusty. I was not doing well at all in games. Like, this was probably the best game I had all day, and that's not saying much. This is an okay gameplay. The one thing I really liked about this, though, is it does demonstrate the AUG's ability in burst fire, and its ability to... It hits amazing headshots. It seems to go straight to the head with its recoil. Um, and that's something that a lot of guns do not do. As this gun just really does it really well. Um, yeah, well, it's, it's all opinion. But I think that, you know, the two best new guns that are going to be around, um, just in general, my close range kit is going to be my AEK um, with, you know, the regular... Oh, look at this guy, look at this guy. Just He was just flanking, hiding behind all day. And, uh, well, I just had to go a little bit of that splash bag in. I hate people that do that. Um, all right. Now back to the topic. Uh, the, I think the best one is AEK for close quarters. AEK, laser sight, forward grip. And then for the AUG, I tend to run it exact same how a lot of people run their M16. Just an undersl underslung uh, heavy barrel and... RDS of some kind, you know, Cobra or, uh, you know, regular RDS. Uh, it's really designed for long range. I feel that the foregrip kind of ruins its long range abilities. Um, you can use a bipod, I guess. I mean, I actually haven't really tried it, but it works out. Um, yeah, that's, that, that's just my views on that gun. Uh, there's a lot of guns that you're going to have to be able to use. They're going to start focusing away from the M16 and towards all the other guns. Um, I hope they don't nerf the M16 as bad as they did the FAMAS. I hope they give it more of an F2000 sort of nerf. But even still, for the first nerf and the, the initial nerf, I want to nerf so bad that it's like FAMAS initially. Like, just at the very beginning. I want them to bring it back, but honestly, all the people that have used it need to learn that you, you're not going to be able to use this gun anymore. It's a gun that's been way too good for way too long. People really realized, you know, this is the gun of choice at around, you know, the PTFO tournament. Um, and it's just been used so heavily ever since. I mean, Rival X Factor and Level Cap promote it heavily. Um, but even still, you can start to see that they, well, I'm not as much rival X Factor, but even level cap. Level cap is not using the M16 as much as he used to. Rival X Factor is still playing competitively, so he's still using that while it's still good. But um, level cap's trying to get ready for, I believe, for when it gets nerfed, because it's no longer going to be good. Um, it's not going to be, I heard that primarily what they're going to be doing to you is they're not going to be you know, lowering rate of fire. I don't know about their reload speed, but I do know they're they're going to increase the recoil a lot, um, from what I've heard. Hopefully, this isn't another one of those, you know, minor dice nerfs. You know, like they've done, they've actually nerfed the M16 before. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but it's been nerfed before. It's just been really, really minor. Um, people just tend not to notice because it's not that big of a nerf. They'll add some minor side to side recoil, like. Um, I think that the recoil wasn't even side to side or something before, and or no, it, it was it was even side to side before, and they increased it and they increased the vertical recoil by point zero three, I believe, which was you know it's that is not really a nerf. Um, I mean, guns like the M sixteen. I mean, I don't view a lot of guns in the overpowered category. I mean, the M26 Dark Glitch, I'd consider overpowered, you know. USAS 12 frag rounds, overpowered, but um, it's hard to consider, you know, an assault rifle in the overpowered category. But I do believe that any gun that you can put, I mean, well, I was playing a TDM one day, um, playing with some friends. Uh, I put a rifle scope, foregrip, and heavy uh, no, sorry, rifle scope, foregrip, and laser sight on the M16, 
and I was winning. I got top frag in the game over everyone else using that, hardly ever scoping in and just hip firing. It was pretty ridiculous. I mean, you know a gun is overpowered when you can use a rifle scope on it and get top frag, especially if it's not designed to use that sort of thing. Um, especially in a TDM of all things. It's really just a gun that needs to be nerfed. <laughs> I don't think anybody can dispute that. Even the people that use it all the time, I don't think they can dispute that. Um, it's just a gun that needs to be nerfed. And I think that everyone should prepare and everyone should stop using it just because it's going to be gone. There's, It's not going to be the same gun it used to be. So you should just get prepared for that. Um, all you people that love it need to get prepared for that. Um, you know, start, just in general, stop using just one gun all the time. Start using different guns. F use the F2000. When I first started using the F2000, I loved it. Not because it was really good, but because it was a challenge. The FAMAS, I like messing around with that from time to time. I don't really like it that much, but it's fun to mess around with. You know, just hip firing in close quarters. Um, AEK's fun. AUG's fun. Scar L is good. Um, M416 is okay, but it still is a little tryhard. LED5, you know, all those guns. There's a lot of guns other than the M16, guys, and you really need to start using them um, because it's not going to be there anymore. <laughs> it's there's it's not going to be the same gun. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave your opinions on the M16, I guess, below, and uh, have a good time. Peace out.